Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura Ventura with Pause and All, and today I have Simba here. And Simba is a schnauzer mix. And I usually give him a schnauzer cut, and I do him every eight weeks, but today he is matted. And it's a very, very sad day because I am going to have to shave him down. But before I shave him down, I really want to make this video because I know that a lot of the disagreements between groomers and pet parents is the fact that their dog is matted and they have to be shaved down. So to all the pet parents out there that don't really understand why we have to do what we do, I just want you guys to understand why we have to shave him down sometimes even though we don't want to. I love his look. He looks so beautiful when he's groomed and he's long. But unfortunately, we really have to think about the pets and their well-being. And if it's going to hurt too much and if they're really matted, then it's just really not worth it. So to start, I really want to show you what a dematter looks like. Now, he's already bathed and blow-dried because I went ahead and tried to kind of demat him a little bit. But once I was blow-drying him, those mats were not tearing apart. So I just opted to shave him down, unfortunately. But... Before I shave them down, I do want to introduce you to the dematting tool. This is what it looks like. So a dematting tool, essentially what it is, it's a, it's knives, all right? So this is why um, we don't really throw a dematter at pet parents and say, here, demat your dog, because you really have to know how to use it. You could injure yourself and you could also injure the dog. Now, before I shave him, I want to show you guys, let me get the blow dryer so I can show you how mad it is on his chest. matted on his legs all over his legs another thing that we use is the less pooch brush um, the mat zapper but again this is just for dogs that have like one or two mats not like Simba unfortunately Simba has mats all over um, that's why it's so important if you have a dog with a long coat and you want to keep them pretty please brush them every day don't wait until the mats that up to his skin because then it's pretty much too late and if you start bathing him at home they're just gonna tighten up even more now to use this steam matter what I would have to do is I would have to get a mat grab it with the steam matter and then pull it now this is not fun for both parties if I demat this entire dog, first of all, he is going to be in a lot of pain, okay? And he's going to be very stressed out, and he's not going to want to come back in again to my grooming van. And for me, it's going to take a lot of wrist work and a lot of back work and a lot of shoulder work, and I don't want to be in pain tonight. So this is when, unfortunately, we're going to have to make the decision of just starting all over again. His face isn't that bad. He loves to go to sleep. That's why he's like this. Now his face isn't that bad. So I am going to keep his beard and his eyebrows, but I am going to have to go a seven all over. It hurts my soul, but this is just what I have to do. Um, I'm going to go and do the haircut. And then what I'll do is I'll show you guys the finished product. But again, I wanted to make this video just so you guys especially pet parents, just so you're clear that when we shave down a dog, it's not because we want to. As groomers, I know personally for myself, I love to leave dogs luscious and beautiful and with long coats, but if they're matted like this, I can't put them through the pain. We really have to think about them and forget about aesthetics. So, all right, guys, I will be right back. I'm going to shave them down. Uh,
just want to say um, sometimes if you bathe them and you blow dry them you can get away with doing a five blade sometimes a four blade but in his case because the mats were too far gone and too tight to his skin I had to use a seven blade another thing I wanted to tell you guys that a seven blade is probably the most dangerous blade that you could ever use so if they are too 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 matted to the skin go ahead and use a 10 it is not worth leaving them a little bit longer with a seven if they're way, way too matted. Now again, he's not, it's not there yet. It was gonna get there. Um, maybe like if we waited a week longer, I'd probably have to do a 10 all over, but you kind of just have to gauge how tight the mats are because if you're trying to get in there with a seven, you're, the chances of you um, nicking him or cutting them open is very, very high. So that's something to think about when you're going ahead and shaving a matted dog. Said, I would never ever use a seven on sanitary areas, as in their private areas or their back end or their armpits. I would never ever use that. I would use a 10 or a 15 blade. Alright guys, Simba is all done. He is pretty short as you could see. I'm going to clean up and take him home. But before I do, I just want to let you guys know one more thing. Um, if you do have a meta dog, that could be dematted and is not matted throughout his whole body like Simba was. I would really suggest you get Ice on Ice by Chris Christensen. This is uh, my holy grail. And also, you could get quadruped, um, the leave-in conditioner. It's good for de-shedding, and it's also good for dematting. So, yeah. Also, the less pooch, pooch brush, um, the mat zapper. And with that and a really good blow dryer, a force dryer, you could pretty much get the mats apart and demat them a lot easier. Now... I'm just gonna let Simba hi Bibi. He's so relaxed. Hi Bibi, you're so good. Um, I'm gonna let him grow out and I'll see him in the next eight weeks. And after he grows out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put him every six weeks. So we can keep him long and it's more manageable for me and for the pet parents. All right guys, up and out, love and light. I hope you guys learned something new. Again, it's not that we wanna shave your dogs down. That's definitely not it. It's just that we have to think about them and what's right for them. As you can tell, he's really, really relaxed. He's always like this. He actually falls asleep. He's always like this during his groom. So for me to have to demat his whole body, it wouldn't be fair to him. And he was pro he's probably not gonna have a good experience and probably not gonna wanna come back here again. So, <laughs> all right guys, love you guys. I'll see you later, bye. Oh, and before I forget, if you've learned anything new and if this brought any value to you, please hit the subscribe button, please hit the like button, comment, um, say hi. Thank you guys so much for following me and for watching my videos. I love sharing what I do. I really love what I do.